Welcome to today's library broadcast. Today is Friday, November 1st. I'm Nick Edelman. And I'm Jade Whitehead. And I hear that our last home game tonight is going to be a great one, and we're going to be wearing dark colors to, to turn out the opponent. Are you excited about the home game tonight, Jade? Yes, I am. Good. Well, let's move on to lunches. Oh, yes. Today for lunch, there will be a grilled cheese sandwich, steamed broccoli, fresh tossed salad, fresh baby carrots, fresh fruit or fruit cup, and blueberry oat bars. Mmm. And after you guys gain an hour of sleep over the weekend, on Monday for lunch, we'll be having nachos with beef and cheese. Chef salad with crackers is our salad of the week. Sorry. Oven fried potatoes, fresh baby carrots, and of course, fresh fruit and milk of your choice. Like you mentioned before, Nick, the last home varsity football game is tonight. In celebration of the game, the SCA had arranged a student tailgate party. It will be today after school in the student parking lot. The food will be provided. Is it free? Yes. Ooh, I should go get some food. <laughs> <laughs> this Thursday, the FCCLA will be hosting a leadership rally in the old gym from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Nick, I am so excited for the student holiday on Tuesday, November 5th for Election Day. Wow, I wish I was old enough to vote on legislation, but I'm not there yet. But I still can vote on our Virginia's Reader Choice books. Every year we pick 10 books to become the favorite in Virginia, and then after you read four of those, you can vote on your favorite to win the very top award. What are we highlighting today, Jade? Well, today we are highlighting the book called The 57 Bus, a true story about a tragic situation on a bus that ultimately led to criminal charges and forgiveness. Here's a short video, video about the book. Hi everyone. This week I read The 57 Bus by Dashka Slater. This is one of the best nonfiction informational texts that I've read in a while. And it's about two real people Sasha, who's from a middle-class family in Oakland, in the foothills of Oakland, and is a student who has the opportunity to attend a private high school. And we have Richard, who is from an economically challenged background attending Oakland High School. What brings these two students together is an unlikely event on the 57 bus, a bus that runs throughout Oakland, and a catastrophic event. This catastrophic event lands Sasha in the hospital for months and leaves Richard charged with two hate crimes. The author does a wonderful job of weaving together this true story with pieces of text messages, interviews, recordings, letters, tweets, and social media posts, making this an unforgettable journey um, as you learn about race, gender, identity, class, forgiveness, and the California justice system. I highly recommend the 57 bus, and if you get a chance, you really need to check it out. Have a great day. This is such a powerful book. It may change the way you think about things in your life. Be sure to check it out from our library here at the high school. Now let's pass it over to the sports studio. Thank you, guys. Cheerleading trials for boys and girls basketball on November 7th, 8th, and 11th. Please have an updated sports physical and concussion form on the first day of trials to be eligible. Please enter the following code 1GZZT2U. I'll repeat 1GZZT2U in Google Classroom to get more information. You may also see Coach Dwight in room 145 or Coach Omer in 192 for more information. We have a few games as we finish up the end of the fall sports and the beginning of winter sports. So winter sports is going to start on November 11th and tonight we have our last 
varsity football game here at home against Vivana County at Portfield Park. Remember to show your support by wearing the darkest colors and we are OC. Monday there is a junior varsity football game against Western Albemarle High School here at home. It is going to be at 630. The Powerpuff game is going to be at 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Portfield Park on Thursday, November 7th. The softball meeting with Coach Ferguson is on Friday, November 8th in the Sizemore Gym. If you did not attend the meeting on October 25th, find Coach Ferguson and to get more informational sheets. The VHSL dead time is on November 11th to November 22nd. And remember, no out of season conditioning is allowed during that time. Now, back to our anchors. Thank you. Don't forget daylight savings time ends on sorry, Saturday evening, November 2nd. Be sure to turn your clock back one hour when you go to bed. Well, that concludes our broadcast for today. I'm Nick Edelman. I'm Jade Whitehead. And I'm Christian Smith. And we are organized, caring, honest, and safe. On behalf of the entire broadcast team, we are OC. OC.